what up guys for today's video um we're gonna be matching the rear fitment we're gonna put the same rear fitment up front because my car is like it's slightly notable slightly noticeable that the car is like this so i'm gonna level out the front with these extended top hats these are the top hats i'm gonna be using these extended ones and i'm gonna go show you guys what i'm talking about about the front and rear fitment See right here, from here to here, while the car is leveled out, but since it's on wood, when it's the car is flat on the ground, from here to here is a two inch gap. And then from here, when the car is leveled out, once again, from here to here is a one inch gap. And this sits right on top of this line, and that's how I'm trying to match it up in the front. So let's start as you guys can see um it's already on jack stands so the only thing i had to do now is um take off the wheels it's a bit windy so i hope you guys hear me i'm gonna try my best to speak a bit loud but so let's let's take off let's take off the wheels and and then start loosening up the the fork to drop down the coil over so i'm gonna put you guys on tie laps starting now we have the wheels taken off this side and this side so now we're gonna loosen up these before I touch the forks that one too so let's get to it guys Listening up this one and this one, this one's a 17, this is a 14, and after that, the curl can come out. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, so let's, let's get started, guys. And we got the quills out. Now it's time to transfer these to these because this from, from here to up there is about an inch and a half. So what I would have to, once I put this on, mess with this. So now what I'm going to do is measure this preload that it has. So once I put these, it will be the same with those on. So now let's use these, use these keys to loosen this and then once I'm done loosening that I'll measure the inside to see how actually how long this is to see how much thread I have from here here in inches so yeah let's let's now let's start taking these off as you guys can see finally got those off of those so I took apart this one to test out this this right here because this part right here this lip right here so i know it might be not that accurate because you don't have gloves but this piece from here to the top is about three inches and these i guess from the bottom here here inch and a half Forgot to explain further, but from here to here is half an inch. So I either have to lower this an inch or half an inch, slap it on, and then test it to see how the height is. But for this one, I had to put it back on because this was being a pain in the butt to take off. So I have to put it somewhere so the whole thing doesn't spin on me because it's pretty hard on the floor. I got put that one all over there. So now I gotta. Put this fork back on, not all the way tight, and then loosen this up. So 
Just give me a second, guys, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, it took some time trying to take off one of these off of this coil because kind of slight, slightly seized in there. So I just WD-40 it, and I'll be able to re remove it. So now we're gonna we're gonna loosen these up so to release pressure from the preload, and then we're gonna put these on. Um, and then once I'm done doing all of this. Hopefully in like in the near future or whatever, I'll get some OEM ones because it looks like the, the previous guy who had these looks like he put bump stops in there, but that would just be temporary for now until I go to the junker sometime next week and just get the OEM ones. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So now let's start loosening, start loosening up these two collars to release the preload. And I'll time lapse it right now. Um, loose now I just gotta put this on here but what I gotta do is so I can retain this well maybe not I might run without the dust poop because because this this part right here hits this edge right here so I'm gonna cut it from right here and I'm gonna say screw it and run without the dust boot. So it's whatever. I mean, it fits on there nicely. As you guys can see, obviously I gotta set the preload back. So so I'm gonna get to it. So I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna cut this off so I can keep this rubber piece, rubber piece so it doesn't some friction or whatever so I'm gonna once again I'm gonna cut this so I can so I can keep this rubber piece and then do the same with this one I used vice grips so this piece right here um, doesn't spin because you have to vice grip it so you can take out this top bolt so I'm gonna Cut off the dust boot and then put this on. So I'll be right back, guys. Finally, got these um, things cut. So now just gotta just put it on so like this. Top the shock, and then obviously. This thing goes on top, and bam. Then this goes here, and then this goes back where it's supposed to go. Just gotta do the same to the other side, and then put all of this back together, all these collars and the bottom bracket. And then now we're gonna test it after I'm done getting this assembled, we're gonna test it on the car to see how much the the height changed. So I was thinking of just leaving only one and just this, but I don't know. We'll see. So I'm gonna put these back on, and then we'll be right back again. All right, guys. A few minutes ago, I told you guys that I was gonna slap these on when I'm done on the car. But I just, before before I, I did this whole job, from here to over here, was 14 inches long. As soon as I put this on and everything back on, it shortened an inch. So that means the car lowered an inch. I hope so. So I'm gonna assemble this other coilover that I still have to do. And then I'm running out a bit of daylight. So, so once I'm done putting these together, and putting it on the car I'll show you guys once I'm once I'm done putting this on the car and lower the car so just
keep watching guys so let's cross our fingers that this car actually lowered an inch so yeah let's go i finally finished for tonight the only thing i gotta do is um cut a little bit of the the frame because it looks like my axles are hitting the the frame so i'm gonna go check it out to see but i'm still gonna cut it either way but dude it looks so nice guys are you ready i already dropped one inch let's see it right now dude guys look at that finally my front fitment is just like my rear oh guys i'm so excited so yeah, the only thing I do is just have to check my axles and I have to take off the front bumper, check my axles to see if I need to cut, which basically I probably do need to cut. So I so hope you guys enjoy this video. So um, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep, keep, um, I'll keep you guys updated through my Instagram of what I'm going to be doing else to the car. So peace.